Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts and today I'm going to be creating a scrapbook layout for the first day of Calvin Ball. And if you have not heard of Calvin Ball, it's a scrapbooking challenge and it runs the entire month of March and it's free to join this challenge. And uh, you can do scrapbooking, but you can also do other types of crafts, including card making, journaling, uh, planning. There's all types of things that you can get points uh, for if you just create projects during the month of March. And uh, the way that Calvin Ball works is that every day there are rules that you can use to get points. And so I'm going to just share with you uh, some of the rules here so that you can kind of get an idea of how Calvin Ball actually, uh, how you can accumulate points. So you can get points for creating projects like a scrapbook layout, a mini album, um, just all different types of projects. You can even do projects that are not paper crafting, like if you were working on a sewing project like knitting or crocheting. And uh, yeah, so it's just a way to uh, encourage people and to challenge them to do projects during the month of March. Uh, the other things that you can do to get points is to actually share your projects on Facebook and other social media. And then you can get team building points by going out to the gallery and commenting on other people's projects and just giving other people encouragement, which I think is awesome. And then you can also uh, get more points uh, depending on the rules that are in effect for the day that you create your project. So it starts off a little slow because uh, as each day goes on, they add additional rules. Some rules are permanent and some are temporary. So you kind of have to pay attention to what rules are in effect for the day that you're working on your project. Okay, so for the, for the first day, for March 1st, there's only four rules. You can use a star and get one point. You can use the color green and get a point. Uh, you can use a ball. You can get a point for that. And also you can finish an unfinished project. Now these temporary bonus points are available on March 1st, but uh, come tomorrow, March 2nd, these might not be on the list anymore. So if you're wanting to use a ball, you might want to do it on the day that you see it there uh, because it might disappear the next day. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I'll mention is that if you use a green star, you get two points just for using that one green star. But if you use two stars, you only get one point. <laughs> so one point for each one of the rules. Uh, but you can combine things like having a green star or a green ball. And uh, that would uh, give you multiple points by combining the rules. And uh, so uh, as you go uh, in the beginning, your layouts, when you calculate your total for your entire project, it's going to be small, uh, but as you progress through the month, you'll get more and more points uh, as they, uh, we get more and more rules. So it really is a lot of fun. One of the things I love about it is because you have the rules, it helps you to focus on what things that you can use for your project. And so I decided that I was going to focus on using a green star. Uh, I couldn't really figure out what to do with a ball. <laughs> I didn't really have a lot of sports pictures to scrapbook because uh, no one in my family is really into football or baseball or any of those types of sports. And I guess there's other types of ball uh, that you could use. You could actually have like a masquerade ball, uh, but nothing that I could think of with the word ball uh, was um, coming to mind. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to create a scrapbook layout using a star. And uh, so I, the first thing I thought about when I thought about using a star was using this punch. This is a punch from Creative Memories. It's really cute. It's a double star punch. Now this is no longer available. It was only available in a, in a mystery uh, box that they had last year. Uh, but you can use any star punch that you have um, to, um, to do this. Or you could use a die or any kind of embellishment that you have that's a star. <laughs> I also thought, well, maybe I'll go and check out my uh, flip bin where I keep all of my paper. And I have a category in there called stars. And I just went through the star paper that I had. And I found this paper uh, with all these stars. And I thought this was a super cute paper. And I thought, well, um, I can use this paper. So that's going to be my stars. And already I'm going to get two points because I have green stars in this paper. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right. So I won't get any additional points for using more stars, but uh, I like the idea of uh, combining this star paper uh, with some star 
punch outs and I have an idea for something I want to try and so I think this is going to be really a lot of fun. Okay so once I had my paper picked out in the punch I went ahead and went through some of my pictures and I saw this picture and I immediately thought of a starry night. Uh, this picture was taken at a dog park uh, where it was getting dark and you can see the sunset in the background and so I thought it would be kind of cool uh, to play off the stars and use a starry night as my title. Okay so that leads me into what do I use for my title. So I went over to my thickers and I found a bunch of thickers. I thought I was going to maybe put my title on top of this uh, busy paper so I thought I would use white. So I have all of these different uh, thickers that I pulled from my stash and I'll probably just go ahead and pick one of these to use on my project as my title. Okay, and uh, so you can see how just having a couple of prompts or rules uh, can really help you to focus in on supplies in your craft room so that you can really pull together a layout very quickly. And so um, I'm doing this uh, challenge uh, I guess partly I've, I'm trying to motivate myself because I've been really struggling uh, for a while now. I have been uh, going through a renovation where I'm renovating my master bathroom and my master bedroom. And I've been sleeping in the guest room and so I have not been sleeping very well. And on top of that, I've been having some health issues. And so I've really been struggling with my energy <laughs> and just trying to get motivated to get into my craft room. And uh, last month in February, I think I created one scrapbooking layout. I did do some organization projects, but I didn't do very much scrapbooking at all. And so I wanted to try to see if I could use, use Calvin Ball uh, to help me to focus on doing some uh, easy scrapbooking layouts. I don't want to do anything uh, too difficult, but just to motivate myself to get into my craft room so that I can uh, scrapbook because I really love scrapbooking and I want to be in here but sometimes you know life just gets in the way and I think we've all been there. It's really hard sometimes to get motivated uh, to get started with things and so I'm really uh, hoping that I can use this to help me to get into my craft room and do some scrapbooking. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to join in because it's really a lot of fun. There's a really great community of people uh, that are involved in Calvin Ball and they're very supportive and it's just a lot of fun to create layouts and other projects and you can share photos of what you create and uh, post your points. Now, if you want to participate in Calvin Ball and you don't want to keep track of your points, you can do that too. But I think some of the fun is just trying to see how many points you can get on each layout or each project that you create. And I know that I'm not going to be the winner. <laughs> I actually uh, participated in Calvin Ball in 2019. And uh, when I started, I thought, hey, I'm doing awesome. And I was accumulating points and then I was looking at the leaderboard and the people that were um, in the lead were thousands of points ahead of me <laughs> at the end. So I had no hopes of catching them, but it, it still was a lot of fun. And uh, so I'm a pretty slow scrapbooker, so I don't really think that I'm going to be winning Calvin Ball, but I think it's more, it's just the fun of the challenge. And uh, I think it, to me, it's more of a personal challenge to myself to see how uh, many layouts I can create and how many points I can accumulate uh, just for my own personal uh, you know challenge for myself. <laughs> okay so I think what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and work on the layout and then I will come back and share uh, with you. I'm going to um, do not do a voiceover for these Calvin Ball layouts just because uh, that takes a lot of time and so I think what I'm going to do is just talk about what I'm going to do. I will go ahead and cut everything and glue it down because that's really not the interesting part anyway and I will come back about midway through and talk about my layout and the design and then I'll finish all the embellishments and then I'll come back and share with you the finished uh, layout. Okay, so y'all know I can't talk and scrap at the same time. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave y'all here and I'll be back when I have some of this completed. Okay, so I've made some progress with my layout and I thought I would go ahead and share with you what I have so far. I used the star pattern paper and a white cardstock to create my background. And then I went into my scraps 
and I pulled out a bunch of different scraps and I layered them underneath my photo. So I'm trying to use up some of the scraps that I have in my craft room and I posted a video on my channel yesterday where I shared the process that I go through to organize and sort through my large scraps. And if you're interested in that video, I'll put a link in the description below. But it was really a lot of fun because I was able to go over to my flip bin, go to the different colors and pull out the scraps and go through them. And uh, it was really easy uh, to find something that would go with this project. So I used a white cardstock and then a yellow pattern paper. And then under that is a pink and gold stripe. And that was a paper from Maggie Holmes. It's so pretty. And when I brought in that paper, I decided that I should bring in gold onto this layout. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so the last paper that I used underneath my picture was this teal polka dot. And I did that because when I created this large circular element, I covered up a lot of this uh, star pattern paper. And I wanted to bring more of the teal color into my layout. Okay, so I did use a jumbo circle uh, pattern from the uh, Creative Memories cutting tool system. And I cut out a circle uh, from some uh, scrap paper that I had in my stash. And then for my title, I used a thicker. Uh, this is a thicker, it's a white background with little black or dark blue dots. And it's called Elf. Okay, so that's what I used for the background. And one of the reasons why I wanted to use a circle, well, actually there was a couple of reasons. Uh, the first reason was that I love to create titles that go around a circle. I think it's a lot of fun. It makes it, it, makes it really easy to be able to line your title up because you can line it up with the circle. <laughs> so that was the first reason. Uh, the second reason I decided to bring in a circle was because I thought it would be cool to make it look like there was a planet. Uh, because, uh, the, you know, I have kind of the star theme going on. And I'm going to be adding more stars. And I wanted to have a little bit more of a solid background instead of having such a busy pattern. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to be doing is adding in some embellishments. And I went through my stash and I found this tag because I have this kind of weird place right here uh, that just doesn't look right on my layout. So I wanted a bigger or a larger element to put there. So I think I'm going to uh, tuck this little tag in right there. It brings in more gold. And I just love that. So the tag came from this set. This is a gift tag set that I got from Tuesday mornings. It's from American Crafts. And at first I was thinking I was going to use one of these tags. But when I opened this up, I realized that there was some more down here. And so I was able to uh, use this one. I think this one went, went a little better with my project. Uh, because I'm able to see the gold uh, kind of peeking out from the back of the picture. If I would have tried to use either one of these, most of the gold would have been covered up. So I think this was a little bit better of a choice. Okay, I also went ahead and punched out some stars using my Creative Memory Star Punch, which is uh, this punch here. And then I also have this other punch that's in my stash. This is from EK Tools. And I used this punch uh, to punch out some gold stars. Now, I went through some of my specialty papers looking for some uh, paper that might uh, go with this tag and with this paper, just kind of that um, glitter, glitter looking paper. And I wasn't able to really find anything. And so I looked in my washi drawer and I had this washi tape. And I went ahead and just uh, put some of this washi tape onto some white cardstock and then used my punches to punch out some stars. And I think this matches really well uh, with my tag. And gold is such a funny color because uh, I had some other glitter paper and uh, it just was the wrong color. <laughs> it was much, I had one paper that was really yellow looking, another paper that was a darker color, and then another one that was like a rope almost like a rose gold and uh, they just really didn't look right. So I think uh, using this washi tape really worked out well. And uh, this is really not a washi tape. I think it came with a, a set of washi tapes that I got, but it's got a, a backing to it and it's not see-through at all. So uh, it's just a glitter tape is what it is. So Okay, so that's what I did. And uh, I also, I was going to say, I have a, a scrap bin here. <laughs> with a whole bunch of scraps that I have. Uh, these are all scraps that are cut into three by four uh, rectangles. 
And I was just able to go through and flip through all this paper until I found some paper that I thought matched the stars in the uh, in this pattern paper or matched the colors that were in my project. And I used my star punch and I punched out a whole bunch of stars here. And so my thoughts about how I was going to finish this layout is I'm going to use uh, some of these different um, stars that I have created. I probably won't use them all, but I think it's a lot of fun when you are working on something like this that you punch a bunch of different colors uh, because you never know what's going to look good. And I like to have choices. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing that I'm going to probably bring in as embellishments are maybe some things that are theme specific. And because I have pictures of my dogs here, I went to my bin where I have my dog uh, embellishments and stickers. And I was able to find um, some embellishments here that I'm going to look through and see if I can find anything here that will go with this layout. I also uh, brought in a couple of dimensional things. I have some three-dimensional stickers here and then also these puppy stars that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And so I think these are going to be really cute to add to this layout. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work on finishing up the layout and then I will come back and share with you uh, the uh, when I finish. Because <laughs> y'all know I can't scrap and talk at the same time. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my layout and I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it's super cute. I did struggle a little bit with all of these little stars and uh, it was really looking busy. I also had a lot of white space on this side of my layout. And so I solved that problem by tearing into the white cardstock and then layering another piece of this uh, star pattern paper underneath and it brought some of that color over to this side of the layout. It also gave me a place to put some of the little stars because I had so many little embellishments. I was having a little bit of trouble making clusters until I added this element over here. So that worked out really well. I also took the twine off of the tag. I just thought it was distracting and I didn't really think it was really needed. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. I had three small uh, clusters. I have this one down here with this little dog and then with the word fetch. And when I was looking at the sticker sheet, I found a ball and I, I worked that into the layout so I can add a, an extra point to this layout for using a ball. Also for using a green star, I can get two points for that. Uh, so I think that's super cool. Now I didn't start, I think the only other thing that I could get points for was for finishing something that I had already started. And because I started this layout on the first day at Calvin Ball, I can't claim that point. Uh, but I will be sharing this video. I'll be sharing this on Facebook. And uh, I'll also probably be uh, doing some other things that you can get points for. And so I'll try to see if I can put my total point score up here on the screen for this layout. Okay, so let's see what else. Oh, I also did want to uh, show y'all. I used a uh, punch that I have here. It's a handheld punch. This came from the Fun Stamper Journey from Spellbinders. Uh, Spellbinders has some really awesome sales and they will often have warehouse sales where they put their things on sale for uh, 50, 60, or even 70% off. And so I did get this punch and it punches out the cutest little stars. And I was able to uh, take this leftover paper and just uh, punch, make a bunch of uh, punches in here. And this is so much fun. <laughs> I had so much fun using this little punch. And once you punch out a few of these, you just open this part up here and uh, it'll drop out all the little stars. And isn't that fun <laughs> making all these little glittery stars? I just thought that was super cute. And I love the gold, that uh, gold touch that it added all over this layout. I did also add in some of the puffy... Uh, stickers, the little stars here as well. And so I'm going to bring this up and uh, share a close-up with you guys so y'all can uh, see all of the different uh, details in this layout. And you can see all of the different dimension. I did pop some things up onto foam tape. I also added a little star on the puppy dog here and also on the puppy dog's head there. <laughs> I like adding bows and uh, stars to little animals when I use them on a layout. Okay. Oh, and the other thing that I did, uh, 
I had this wood veneer piece that said dream, uh, but I didn't like the color of it. So I used my Heidi Swap color sign and I just uh, painted it on top of that. And I turned this wood veneer word into a gold word. And so I thought that came out really pretty as well. It does really match my layout really well. Sorry about my voice. <laughs> I guess uh, it's been a couple of hours and uh, it's a little bit late. And so um, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Okay, well, I sure had fun being in my craft room and challenging myself uh, to do the first day of Calvin Ball and to create a project. And so I love how this layout turned out. And uh, I'm super excited about uh, trying this again tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see <laughs> if I have the energy to do it, but I'm definitely going to try. So I hope y'all will join in and sign up for Calvin Ball. It's free to join. And I put the link in the description below. Uh, for the website where you can go find out information about what you need uh, to get started. Okay, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give this a thumbs up because it helps me to know what types of videos y'all like to watch. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to see more videos, I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. Okay, so I have a short video clip of my two dogs Bella and Lily Bell that I will put at the end of this video if y'all want to stick around for that. But that's all I have. So y'all take care. Have an awesome day and I hope to see you next time. Bye now. Are y'all following me again? <laughs> what you doing? Miss Bella, are you objecting to, <laughs> to me asking you if I was following you? If you were following me? What are you girls doing? What are you up to, huh? Are you are you gonna um where do you want me to go? You're just running around like crazy dogs. <laughs> you think I should follow you? <laughs> I think she wants me to go to the kitchen. <laughs> Is that where you want me to go, Lily Bell, to the kitchen? <laughs> Is it snack time? <laughs> Is it time for treats? Miss Bella, where'd you go? <laughs> Okay, so you want me to follow you? Is that what the deal is? Okay, we'll lead the way, okay? Go ahead and go and I'll follow you. Do you want a treat? Yeah? <laughs> okay, I'll follow you, let's go. <laughs> You're running as fast as I can. Okay, run, run, I'll follow you, come on. Come on, go. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. She's like, yes, we're in the kitchen. Okay, is it treat time? Miss Lily Bell, is it time for treats? <laughs> it is. Okay, well, let me get y'all a treat. Okay, so you're ready for your treat? You are? Okay, leave it. Okay. <laughs> oh, Finny. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> Treat time. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> they look like they're starving like I didn't feed them. And they've had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> okay, well that's all I have. Y'all take care. Have an awesome day. And we hope to see you next time. Bye now.